Hello everyone, it's Niven, and today I am making Copper Cube 6 tutorial video. Copper Cube 6 is a game engine which is available for free. Today I will be talking about lighting, how to set up lights, and what type of lighting do we have in this engine. Unfortunately, there is not much to do with lights except if you buy Copper Cube 6 and you have a paid version, you can add some effects, post effects. For example, we have Bloom, we have Black and White, we have Inversion, we have Blur, we have Colorizing with different colors, basically creating a scheme of sort and we also have uh, one to use for for example flashlight and things like that unfortunately in this version of copper cube which is free we don't have that but we have two main light sources when you go to create you should go to create a point light which creates a point light now we will be talking about this. If we go to Attributes Properties window, which I showed you in the basics video, which is down in the description, you can check the tutorials. I've actually created one big playlist of Copper Cube 6 tutorials and you can check those out if you missed any. As we go to properties window we have the name of the light you can name the light for example um, for example light you know one or light two or light three and then we have position of the lamp which we can use in our window two you can move around the light uh, we have the uh, rotation which we don't need we have scale and we also have visibility now visibility helps if you're making a horror game for example because you can unmark this and the light will disappear if you check this one the light will appear and we also have specific item properties which is the color of the light you can create any color you want for example let's pick up blue and the light is blue and you can also choose the radius you can go from 1000 to you know one one is very very small now let's make a room and see how this light works how to create a room first of all we delete the cube mesh we go to create and here we have room and we should create a simple default room here it is now we cannot see the light correctly why because if you go to the room mesh and you go to materials it says static light maps now this means that the light is generated overall around the texture if we go to dynamic it will change to much more realistic lighting see as you can see now we have more realistic lighting and as you go to the light section we go to properties attributes and we make radius for example 50 as it is default number as you can see our room is all blue now if we go and create a camera a first person camera as you know we go to create camera first person shooter camera and ok and we click on publish and here we have the blue room now as you know we can change the colors right here you go down and change the color to yellow and it has the yellow color inside the room let's change it to let's say green and you have the green color in your room and we can also change this to for example red everyone likes red right so this will look like very scary room because red is the definition of you know scary 
tone but let's uh, let's make it uh, white white color so this is it this is the basic color of the room now let's delete the light we go to the scene graph explorer we click on right mouse button and delete now as you can see we have nothing in room why because I told you if we have object which is dynamic it needs lighting and also if the textures are normal mapped it will also need a light source now if we go and switch this to light maps then you'll have just a light maps generated texture and light now let's delete the room for a second um, and let's create a terrain right so all of this right here terrain is default so we create ok and this just generated um, default terrain now this terrain has one simple thing this terrain has directional light now this is something different now we delete directional light now directional light as you see affects the texture of the terrain because the texture of the terrain can be uh, only dynamic you see because we don't we don't have static maps we have only dynamic maps although there is change to having none which I would not recommend but definitely change this to dynamic and if we go right here and click on the new scene we go to properties and we click to ambient light and let's darken everything we go to background color and it also make dark now just wait a second we cannot see anything in the game also if we go and just delete startup skybox it's all pitch black now we can use directional light to create more atmospheric look to it if we go to create and click on a directional light as you can see it creates more of the night kind of scene night light scene if we go to publish you can see that the game has that a moonlight effect now we can change the attributes and properties of this light too if we go down we have the same thing we have directional light name we have position rotation scale we can make it visible or invisible and we also have right here uh, casting shadows now what does casting shadow means just look at the screen I'll uncheck the cast shadows and now if we go to play it doesn't have the proper shadow as it's supposed to as you can see some of the trees do have shadows but some of them don't so you should check cast shadows always and also change the color of the light we can make any color you want for example cyan and it will create a warm cyan color we can also create green it creates a green color as you can see and we can also change the color to well let's say red and this changes the color to red and it becomes more and more scary now what's the difference between directional light and the point light let's delete the directional light once again and now let's create a point light in the environment you can see the difference right so the point light makes the scene look like more as if you had a light source for example if we go to publish this is the player which is close to the light and then he goes far away and it's all dark but we can see the light there so it's not a directional light meaning it does not affect the overall texture the overall environment of this terrain rather it's like a lamp right like a lamp which goes and follows the player one thing also how can we make this to follow the player because if we press play player goes away and the light doesn't show it just stays there now how to make 
the light follow the player. It's simple. This is how we do it. We press on the left mouse button, hold it, and we put it next to the camera. And now the light follows the camera. And if we press play, as you can see, the light follows the camera. And it creates the vibe of, you know, having a flashlight or a torch, which you can make easily by using this. We can make this light uh, more yellowish, like this. And this will create the illusion of having the fire following around you. Or we can make this a bit green, which will make it look like a night, you know, someone is filming at night and they have the night vision, so it's like a night vision scene. Let's delete everything and uh, let's create our default skybox and we're back to square. Everything as it was before. So, what have we learned? We've learned that there is a big difference between point light and directional light, which we accidentally brought into the Scene Graph Explorer. The point light makes a player to use the light in a specific area. You can make lamps, you can make fireplace, you can make torch, you can make a camera light using point light. The directional light which is different, affects the entire area of the terrain or the room or anything you create. It affects the overall lighting. That's the main difference. And as I said before, you can pay for CopperCube 6 and download a paid version, which will also allow you to add some post effects to make lighting in the game better. But from my personal experience, having this to be more restrained allows the player and allows the creator to create something better, much better. And it actually helps you with your imagination, it trains your eyes, and overall, for the game development, this is an amazing tool. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment in the comment section and I will answer them. Thank you for watching, have an amazing day.